What's up, party people? It's your girl Mia V, and I am back here with another video. Today's video, we're going to be asked, answering some questions that people have had for female Marines. So she said, I think my favorite part about being a Marine is just like, like I feel for me, I just feel like I'm part of like this cool gang, this cool. Little fraternity little. sorority like club thing and like only so many people can get accepted because they went through all the training of like frats and sororities and stuff but it's not talked about like you can't find a lot of our training like that we actually go through online like frats and sororities yeah, yeah. and we're pretty exclusive like you know we are the few in the proud and look at look at us Look at us. We pretty dang proud. Okay. There's I love us. when they That and like, I love like going back home and they're just like, oh, you guys got to watch out. We got a big bad Marine coming through. I'm like, ah, yeah. as long but as y'all know, I don't come to great. play. My grandpa, he called me a soldier. Yeah. I didn't say like, your stuff. I, like, like, I, I love, love, look, I I love you and all, you know what I'm saying? But you going to get your Christmas gifts. Ooh, ooh, Christmas gifts. The duck thing. <laughs> if you keep playing with me, swear. I got a friend back home who asked me constantly, so how's the army treating you? I'm just like, yo, they they probably it's other good. I'm just like, yeah, it's the other Marine Corps pretty dope. You need to do your research. Facts. We ain't all soldiers. No Once you're Marine, you're Marine. Look at the Marine. Marine. Is that we go yeah. What is your biggest regret so far? Oof. Having hip injuries. Uh, I would say mine's just not taking advantage of all these opportunities. So for me, when they was backtracking to the education. When I came in, I had to wait two years, two years. to do anything before I go to school. Mm -hmm. Now you can do it whenever. So I'm behind the ball realistically because of the time period that I came in. So I, I regret not, right at my two year mark, just going right for it. I regret that. I regret um, not being uh, prepared for certain doing the research behind, okay, what's coming up next? What do I need? Yeah. I, I, I say for myself, just like, because I am a mother's child, I like to spend money. Fact. Be good with money. money. Know how to spend your money. So, me personally, freaking, when we, like, you get the option in boot camp and oh, they know. ask you if you want a certificate and that certificate think of it like a savings bond you know so you put money into it you get at least come out like with two thousand depending on how much you put in so i had that certificate and i was like oh i saved money i can treat myself with this money now like nah pay your bills get another cert reopen it because you don't want to like go into the marine corps with no debt whatsoever and then come out with all this debt that's not how to, not, it's not how it's supposed to work. Like, he's supposed to come out bigger and better, not worse. 10,000 mm -hmm. So, just, I wish I could have done better with my finances. Oh, my other regret. Go with your first mind. Go with your gut feeling. That part. Where there is, um, get married out of MTT. Woo! Somebody you met two days ago. Ain't saying nothing wrong with it. But, they play efficient. Yeah, I ain't not even that either. Yeah. I say it's like just just know what you're getting yourself into. Mm -hmm. I, like I didn't fall typically like in the stereotype, but I did get married, and then two months later I was like deuces. So I yeah. fell into the type. I did get pregnant. Yeah. So so just be careful because at the end of the day, like they've been these. If you only gonna do four years. It's only gonna be those four years. You get married or you have a child with somebody else, they can y'all both she can join up from Mississippi. So we together, but we split up and we got a child. So now one of us gonna have a child, so one of us gonna be away from the child. So don't make a lifetime decision in three if seconds. Yeah. yeah pretty don't much. let them dress blues get to you. I know they sing. Exactly. And at boot camp, they, at the end of boot camp, they literally give you a whole class on birth control and let you know you can get on. I don't know if you can do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You can get on birth control before you even leave boot camp because they know that everybody gets pregnant. Some people are pregnant MTT. Don't be doing Please, that stuff in the year. I know it. Be doing stuff for Skittles. Don't do oh, don't be Skittles. Don't do that. 
gotta do it. How to impress your junior trust to be fast, loud, and knowledgeable. You never don't worry about it. Right. Don't worry about that. You gonna get out to you like everybody else. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> There's no hiding in the shadows. I, I can Man. tell you personally, freaking. I ain't gonna can, lie, I hit up under the rack sometimes. Oh no. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, I didn't have like, a job. And it was hurt, it was time. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't have a oh, job. No, and no. when my drill just found that out, they seen I was scud style recruit. I had to go outside, scud styles. We were chilling out there. Next thing you know, they said, scud! I was like, oh, go get the towels. Come back in there. We weren't fast enough. We had to put them back. You Come get in. Them you go get them again. Get them again. Be prepared to do everything a hundred times before it's right. There's if you're no an eye, it's this yeah. crew. And if you're an artist or crew, and you think just because like you skating out of ITs and stuff, yo, just know everybody else hates you. On on the hood. I know they called them I out, so and they were taking. They had some. Hey hey. Uh, nope, not I us. I was the one that got everybody in trouble. I was the Ooh. one that snuck a cookie. In the squad bay. You a dead person. Right. Don't be that one. I didn't don't have do that. I didn't have fear butter pass. I had a whole cookie. I had two of them. And don't be like one. Don't be like that. The door is down. You gotta get a tissue on that. I was. I seen her. I said. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I still got that so. in my mouth. I, I don't be trouble like that. Breathing. I got in trouble for dancing on the line. I got in trouble for smiling during free time. I got in trouble having afro on free time and looking happy. I, oh, I got trouble. Don't be hurt. Her. Oh, my God. Be her. Live it's your best so... life. You only gonna go through it once, yo. Okay. And you gonna but miss it. Ain't gonna lie. It's gonna be your best experiences. You gonna wanna go back? It's gonna be. If I, I can go I back, I, I most definitely would. Same would. people and everything. Same. Like, I yeah. love my boot camp experience. Even though, like, it did get cut off, it was all weird because the hurricane. Oh, you was there then? Yeah, I had Hurricane Matthew. And we got evacuated going to Albany, Georgia. Georgia? Ugh. Oh, terrible. Okay, my next question is how was the deployment? Am I the only person that went on? Yeah. Man, I didn't go on my deployment. I did all the workups just to get PCA to get it. Hey, yeah. if you on that fly line, I get your parts. You're welcome. Okay, my deployment wasn't really a deployment, but I went to Japan for six months. You know what I'm saying? It was nice. Uh, I met my man. The 31st of you? No, I went to uh, she. Oh, okay, so 31st. was beautiful, was the going. water was nice, the AV, the malls, the I went to Okinawa and I went to Iwakuni. It was bomb. Um, it was nice. The people loved my afro. I got thumped everywhere. <laughs> I walked in the child hall one day and I had like this I had did my hair and I had like jewels in it or whatever. That's not the whole line of asking they take my hair. I was like Okay, like karate kid. She was like, but everybody else was mad. yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody else was mad because they was trying to get some food and they were trying to take my hair. So when they came around, they obviously had to wash their hands stuff. So I kind of slowed down the line and everybody wanted breakfast. <laughs> but my hair was dope, oh and the workers was nice. I didn't understand them, but they was like, Poof. so pretty much deployments are fun. If you unless nice you go hair. somewhere, this bomb. I think we go to Afghanistan, it probably won't be fun if they can make it fun with people around you. But well, I went to nice places. My son went to Afghanistan and he also went, went to, to like Dubai. Dubai. Yeah, he a man Israel. though, I don't think I want to be like that. Well, like he also he also went to Jordan, Jerusalem. Yeah, they break it. Cause like, that's where it's oh my gosh. I, I South Korea to me is how has the Marine Corps changed you? I Ooh. love that I've met new people. Everybody's different, everybody comes from different backgrounds. One of my other best friends, she's Jewish. Would you know that? No, but hey, people from all over. Shoot, she's Jewish. She's always been homeschooled since she's on Marine Corps, and yet we were so opposite. We loved each other to death, and now her baby is my goddaughter too. So yeah, I would say I I'm kind of quiet. She loves me. But now she ugly. I used to be quiet. I shall say. Uh -huh. okay, but now I'm very outspoken. I said what's on my mind. I'm very, you can tell what I'm thinking by my facial expressions. But um, I work with her, so she knows. I work with all of them. I mean, I feel like I find similarities in each one of them. I'm like, oh, that's why she's my friend, because she's short. Oh, she not bald so she my friend. Uh, us three get mixed up, but I don't know how. Yeah, I'm, I'm And then both are that, yeah. And I'm boss and I'm brown, but I'm brown. Yeah. I'm either of them. I'm bro, brown, exactly. boss, and one of the bees. All black people don't look like. 
Remember that when you join. All white people look like because I get their If they off. even say like, oh no, you're dark green. It's because you're dark. Nah, 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 nah. Oh yeah, well, if you black, you're going to become your dark green. If you didn't know. Nah, nah, nah. Because everybody's green. We don't see color. You're green. But you like green or dark. I feel, <laughs> I feel like yeah. everybody got weird last names. I never met nobody. Man, what? Last names like to this day, Snowball, if you see this, girl, you made an impression on me. It was a girl that ain't said her last name was Snowball. She was met missing. Captain Snowball. Snowman. Yeah. Snowman. His last name is Snowman. Captain Snowman. And, and the MCT is a guy last name Boner. You can know he got I know on. Boner. No, his name was Boner. Like, see, that's, was Boner. that's crazy. I know somebody last name Red. You yeah. knew Green? No, you're brown. Oh yeah, we got all the colors. Green. I'm brown. She knew, um we got a girl named Green. We got a white. We got a black. Oh, we sure do. It's crazy. Oh my god. We got yeah. all the colors, y'all. You related I feel like to somebody. <laughs> I see you three ways how to spell brown. Somebody got brown with an E. Somebody got a uh, a brown with two E's. I was like, what? When you join the being used to expand people, they got two last names. And some of them be the same name. I had all of them. Most of them. Because, like, I went to MCT. This dude name was Rodriguez Rodriguez. So we called him Rodriguez two times. Why the hell you got two last names? And they the same name. Why not just take Rodriguez? And then he was like, his mama Rodriguez, his dad Rodriguez. So why not take Rodriguez? Why you got to have Rodriguez? But yeah, I'm done. I feel. <laughs> I, I changed a lot. I mean, Marissa can speak on it too, like, because we went to school together from, like, middle school on through high school and everything. Like, how she is right now, like, quiet and stuff, I'm almost positive that was me, like, in school growing up. Um, I didn't talk to nobody, but, like, after I joined and right now, like, I'm really aggressive. She great. Um, well, y'all get that from my grandma. But, like, just, I'm only aggressive because... The males think they can push you over. Going back to the whole, don't let males like tell you what's good. Don't let them run you. Like, okay. tell them what's up. Like, you the alpha female all times at all times. Like, period. For the record, period. But I um, am a sweetheart. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Don't. Yeah, just make yeah. sure you they know when to play and when not to play. That part. Time for everything. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to say this. I don't know what question it was. Soak up all the knowledge that you can. You don't got to be a step in CEO, you know, teacher's pet, sort of, sort of. But circle up the knowledge that you can from your NCOs, your junior Marines, staff in CEOs, the officers. Because you learn something different from everybody. Everybody learn differently and everybody has different knowledge. And even if they're the same knowledge, everybody teach it in different ways that you may understand. Mm -hmm. And that goes with you can get married to or get promoted if you do a job real way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You should inspire to take the person above your job and know the knowledge where your rank, where you're at, and the person below you. Because below you, they're going to learn different stuff in a new matter and probably beyond that. So you need to, no matter which direction you are, take all that knowledge. If you got to write it down, write it down. You got to record it, you got to record it. Do whatever you got to do to make sure you are on top. Because when you're in the military, the only thing you have is your last name. You represent your last name. Like, nobody's going to call you by your first name. Like, you're brown. Max, I'm so always going to be brown. Brown E. Call sign. If you're a Well, like, you represent <laughs> what's on your right side as well as what's on your left side. Thanks. So, what my senior told me in boot camp was, you're representing your family name on your right side. And you got to take that with pride. But your new family, too, that U.S. Marine Corps... That's like, you gotta represent that too. Out in town, in civilian attire. Like, if I, like, not like for real, but like, I felt as if it was branded, like right there. Like, I carry that with me. I don't show it in my clothes, but like, for real, like, I carry that with me. <laughs> don't make life down decisions. Unless y'all are truly in love and you really know who they are genuinely. Because what happens with a lot of people get married over their honeymoon phase. And then a year or two go by and they already got a child. They realize either the female starts showing who she truly is, the male starts showing who they truly is, or they realize they're not as well like they thought they were. So if you do get married, I ain't saying don't get married, but if you do, try still don't get your stuff together, like your name on loans and stuff together, because that's my predicament. So my ex got my name on the loan. We've been divorced for almost two years now, pretty much, well, two years now, and... He won't pay it, so now I'm mixing up my credit because he got a motorcycle in my name. So, I say don't do that. 
And if you do end up having a child, make sure the child is their priority. Don't try to do something to hurt the other. And when you do get out, make sure whatever you do benefits the child and your situation. Because the child always comes first. Facts. So. Facts. I say, oh, don't yeah. let the marine thing get to your head. You're still a person. At the end of the day, when you take off your king, you are whoever you are. Facts. Don't, don't bring your hygiene. Home. Hygiene. Please do not stain. Please mm -hmm. shower. Ooh. And if you are out in town and you see Don't little, be little nasties, <laughs> we have answered all the questions that I have received on being in the Marine Corps as a female or just in the Marine Corps as a general. Some questions from boot camp. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.